Hey guys, so I found this flower downtown. It's got all kinds of parts here that we've talked about. So this first really obvious part here is the pistil. And we remember that is the female part of the flower. The very top is the stigma, holding it all up is the style, and then down below is your ovary and ovule, which turn into the seed eventually. Then we have over on the sides a couple stamens. There's one, two, three, four, five, six stamens. And if you remember, the very top is the anther, and then holding it up is the filament. And if you can remember, the anther creates a bunch of pollen, and that is what's getting us all sneezy and coffee recently. And you probably see a lot of it on the ground and maybe on your cars, it's that yellow dusty stuff. Um, it's actually coming from trees, I think, right now. So one cool thing I want to point out to you guys about this tulip is in the middle, it's got these bright, dark spots in the middle. Um, if you remember, bees kind of see a different wavelength than we do. They can see ultraviolet light. And so when they look at this flower, it's going to look different to them. Um, and that has to do with what their eyes can see. So we can only see visible light and it looks purple, but to them, it's going to look different and probably super bright and really cool and attractive to a bug or a bee. So we've got every different part of a flower that we've discussed in class and they're called tulips. So if you have any tulips at home, I'd love for you to show us the different parts of your flower, maybe tell us what they are, and can't wait to see what you find. Right, Carter? See ya.